Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sweetest Dolls, and today we are opening up what has been dubbed uh, Monster Ball Frankie, which is also just the name Amped Up Frankie. Um, so this is kind of like a one-off release, it seems. Um, Frankie seems to be the performer at Monster Ball, or one of the performers at Monster Ball. So they got like their own standalone musical type release that come with a guitar and stuff like that. Um, new screening that we haven't seen. Well, sort of new screening because we've seen it on um, Neon Frights, but that wasn't supposed to be revealed until I think later. So this is technically the first time we're seeing this um, version of the side uh, view, the side, the um, side, looking to the side <laughs> um, screening. And it's interesting because this one is made in Indonesia um, and the original, like, um, side glance Frankie that we got was the coffee break, which is, I'm pretty sure they're made in China. So this is, I'm assuming what all the, like, side glance dolls are gonna look like, or, like, all the, like, Frankies are gonna look like if they're from Indonesia. So it's just something interesting. But let's take a look at the packaging. So first off, we have Frankie in what looks to be kind of like a a mirror with a bunch of skullettes around it um and we have a little spider web here with the spider we have monster high on the side and then we have the gorgeous dark oh dark art i think this was the first thing we saw from them was the art and it's amp of frankie stein and then on the back oh there's a little description i will read that so backstage glam is complete and frankie stein is Ready to rock and charge up the crowd, serving lurks with the high voltage alpha and a supercharged electric guitar, Frankie's amped to give a performance that's positively electrifying. I didn't notice that there was one of those. Um, I think this doll is an Amazon exclusive. It could be wrong, but so far that's the only place they've shown up. So here is the UPC if they end up in stores anywhere, but I kind of doubt it unless you have like an Amazon warehouse near you. Um, this is also the batch code for mine. I think that's, I actually can't, I think it's N86317. So if they are in person, if and you want one that looks like mine, that is the batch code. But yeah, I'm going to unbox them. I'm going to take everything out and then we will take a look at the doll and all their accessories. Okay, so everything's out of the box. It was pretty easy. It's a standard Monster High unboxing for G3, honestly. And, oh my god, you guys have no idea how good it feels to run your hands through a Monster High G3 doll's hair and not have it be poly. <laughs> like, every single Monster High doll that I've gotten recently has been poly hair. Like, all of Skeletal Secrets 2, um, Creepover Claudine, Abby, like... All of them have been Polly, and this is the first new one that has Saran, and I could just, like, cry from how happy I am. Um, also, this doll is just breathtaking. I think this might be my favorite G3 Frankie face, which I know is kind of controversial because I feel like Coffee Break is everybody's, like, universal favorite, but not for me. I also have really wonky ones, so that might be why, but I really love this face. So we're going to look at the doll first, and then we're going to go into their accessories. So here is the amped up Frankie face. I love how they do the side glances in the Indonesian factories. I think it's so beautiful. Um, also the face painter, I can't remember their Instagram name right now, but props to them because they've been doing like some of the most beloved Monster High G3 faces. And I just think they're so insanely talented and I'm so happy that they're at Mattel because like, look at this, this is beautiful. Um, an interesting thing to note about Frankie's makeup um, it is supposed to kind of look like it's chipped because on the, um, art, it has like sort of like a wing sort of look to, I don't know if it's make it look like fire or if it's make it look like lightning strikes, but it's super cool. So that's why it might look a little chipped, although mine over on this side might be, but that also might just be how they're drawing, drawing the eyes. So I don't really know, but oh my God, they're so cute. I love, 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 love this face. Um, I'm pretty sure this eye is bigger than this one, but that could also just be how the screening was done. Um, I really don't care. I think they look good to me. And obviously, if I'm holding them to a magnifying glass like I am in this video, I'm going to notice some imperfections. But besides that, I'm so happy. So they also have the, um, like, bolt uh, earrings that we saw in Creepover. No, not... Yes, Creepover, Frankie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
creep over Frankie. This time they're just like a slime green. We also have these headphones that have what look to be like a stitched up heart with some lightning bolts, some chains that go over, and a little like headpiece that's kind of reminiscent of a uh, Fearlessen Frankie's spiked one. So yeah, same on both sides. Super, super cute. It's rubber banded and tea tied in place. So I'm going to take it off when I have to do their hair because it is very messy. But oh, does it feel so good? <laughs> um, they also have these really, really pretty pink lips. Um, they are a lot fuller than I think the core Frankie lips are. But the thing that's weird about a lot of the faces for G3 is that they have like the sculpts themselves have like these beautiful massive pump lips but none of the dolls utilize it and they always underline them which I don't know if that's an executive decision or just the way that the face painters have been doing the faces but it would be nice to give them fuller lips but whatever it doesn't bother me that much I still, still think they look really good if it bothers you that much just paint them but um also on this side we have a little lightning bolt it kind of reminds me of the um is that one called Fab Fabulous Pets? Whatever the, the like, kind of, like, day out pet line is for G3, whatever that's called. It reminds me of the Claudine, specifically from that line, that has, like, the... Is it, like, a scratch mark or a moon that's going down their face? I don't know. But, yeah. So, next is the hair. So, for this doll, we have really long, luscious, full head of Saran. You can tell by the yellow tint on the uh, white. We have black, white, and then on the underside, we have this uh, pretty much the exact same colors as the boots, which are this really pretty blue, and then some of that pink. So, super cool. Their hair in the front is in a side part, and then I'm pretty sure the rest of it is also in a side part. It is a tad messy, so I don't know if you can see, but super, super cool. They have their bang pieces pulled and tied in the back. So, yeah, and then this doll does not come with a stand, by the way. As you can tell, I'm holding them, so obviously they don't come with a stand. But um, next is the outfit. So I'm not the biggest fan of the outfit, but I do think all together it looks good, so I can't really be mad at it. But for the outfit, we have this plastic um, um, tie. I forgot the name of it. It's the same exact mold as the coffee break, just with a pink tie this time. Um, we have this shirt that has these really big silver puff sleeves that go into the long sleeve. This kind of reminds me of uh, Sculpt and Secrets 1 Clio, um, specifically with like that gold bolero thing. Hopefully I'm, I'm thinking of a bolero, bolero right, but that's what it reminds me of, which I think is really cute that it kind of because I ship them, I think that they're going to become Endgame. I really hope they do in the series because I love them together. But I don't know. It's a cool little tie-in, especially because this one is silver and uh, Cleo's is gold. But we also have this really cool harness piece that we saw this a long time ago, I think. Even before we knew Aunt of Frankie was coming and we didn't know who was going to. But it is super cool. I don't really know what this is. It just looks like lightning bolts with like a diamond in the middle. And then we have chains. It uh, attaches in the back with that little right there. Um, and then we saw these shorts, and we thought these were going to be for, I think, Fearadescent, Sculptman Secrets, but these are for them. They're just little biker shorts, pleather biker shorts. I'm kind of sick and tired of the <laughs> biker shorts, to be honest, but it seems like that's what they're going to give Frankie a lot, so it's fine. They're cute. Um, these do have the possibility of deteriorating over time just we don't know how the current pleather is treated differently from old pleather so who knows but super super cute regardless I think overall the outfit looks really good together um I do think kind of just regular pleather biker shorts without like that design on it probably would have looked better but I think this is beautiful either way um and then next we have the shoes which are these really cool ombre ombre boots and they are two different molds which is really fun i like how they are able to keep like the symmetry of the boots with like the length but they were able to do like a cutout here so you could actually see frankie's prosthetic and also all the drawings on it um i think they took off some of the drawings on this prosthetic because i feel like they had more hearts and stuff like that and i think people were 
getting mad that they don't have Cleo's heart on there, but I wouldn't get too mad at it. I'm pretty sure it's just a design to it choice or something to do with like uh, the price because this doll is twenty four ninety nine, and while at the moment with the outfit it might not seem like that's really justifiable, when we get to the accessories, there's a lot here. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, the shoes are really really cool. I'm a big fan of them. I, I like how the ombre looks specifically on these. I think it's also because they do have painted detail, whereas, like, uh, Skulls and Secrets 2 didn't really have any painted detail. It was just the ombre effect, but these have, the, like, the painted on zippers and the silver and the heels. These are super cool. These also remind me a lot of Skulls and Secrets 2 Frankie with the bolt um, heel, and I really like how there's kind of, like, the the cowboy the spindles. Is, is that what those are called? Like, the things that are on the back of cowboy boots. It kind of reminds me of that with these, which is really interesting and cool. But yeah, I really like the shoes. So we're gonna put Frankie back here and we're gonna look at all their accessories. So first up is the guitar, which is what they're playing for the Monster Ball show. I'm assuming it has this um, vinyl strap, which is just a clear like pink, pinkish orange, which is nice. It is hollow, so it's not like a substantial piece but it does have a little holder for Frankie's hand and the rest of it looks to be um UV screened or printed on which it looks good it is kind of blurry obviously when you go up close like you can see the like pixels but from here it looks great and the um buttons and everything are molded on anyway so like the printing just adds to it I don't know cute piece I'm probably not going to display it with them only because it is kind of very bulky and I don't really, and I kind of want to put them next to the Monster Ball dolls. So I'll probably end up doing something like the artwork that has them holding the fan. I mean the blow dryer. But I'm going to just take the uh, accessories out one at one. Next we have Sour. It just says Sour. They look like Sour Patch Kids and they look like little Frankensteins, which is cute. So nice um we have an energy drink i think or this could just be water i guess but super super cute and one thing i really like about the accessories that come with g3 specifically is that they have this little thumb hole so you can actually make them hold all their accessories love that it, it makes so it's so much more versatile next we have the mirror which i love i love a good handheld mirror and i like that it's a skullette super cool and the actual mirror part is like pretty high quality you can I think, is that my ring light? <laughs> you can either, yeah, you can see the back of my phone right now with those butterflies, but it's super, super cool. I'm a big fan of this, and also Frankie can hold it. Next is the hair dryer that they have. Super, super cool. I don't know if we've had this accessory before. I feel like if anything, Creepover would have come with it, but I don't remember having this. I have all Frankie's accessories in their uh, um, Skulltimate Secrets locker, so I don't know. But um, if this is new, it's really cool. I like the lightning bolt there. Um, the texture on this is really interesting. And the way that, like, the silver is kind of, like, marbled is really cool. And the pink nozzle is a nice little painted detail. Next is the bolt hold, which is hairspray. You can see what looks to be Frankie right there on the bottle. And then it probably is, like, warm ipsum down there. But I can't really read that, so super cool and the cap does come off so fun for play and then there's only a few oh i didn't even realize the one of the things in here is has a divider i didn't even realize that we have some hair clips which is fun for like role play or just like play in general like you can pretend sorry about that you can pretend like frankie's getting ready for their show and you put this in their hair to keep it as like a certain wave so cool um, next is a cute little Polaroid of Frankie, Draculaura, and Claudine. It says BFFs. Um, super, super cute. And then we have a hairbrush that is like this slime green. And it has a little lightning bolt on it. And then we have this like kind of like brass knuckly ring that says zap. I th I'm pretty sure this one came with one of the Skulls and Secret dolls, or is, no, I think this ring came with, uh, the Day Out Frankie, the budget doll, I can't see from 
how mine's posed right now, but I think so. That one comes over, this one's like the ectoplasm green, which I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I'm pro I don't know. I kind of want to change their earrings to silver because I just prefer silver and I feel like the green comes out of quite literally nowhere because the only other green on the doll is on their eye. So interesting choice for sure. Um, but next, what is what I can only describe as, oh, it's not a sweatband. I fully thought this was like a sweatband, but it's just like a little bracelet with a uh, green thunderbolt and it has some like chains on it. So you can put this on them. I'm probably not gonna do that. I think they look good without it. And also this brings in the green that I don't really like. Um, and then second to last, we have a phone and uh, I think Frankie is texting Cleo. And Cleo's like, good luck. And Frankie's like, I'm gonna rock it. <laughs> um, super, super cute though. We have, Frankie has gotten so many phones this generation. Um, and then last is the giant bag, which has those same motifs that we saw on the shoes, which is really fun, except it's in like this sort of like frosty blue and the green painted thunderbolts. It has a divider in here. So I'm assuming like this is probably meant for like their water and then snacks and other general stuff goes on the other side. But that's really cool because you can put quite literally anything in there. And I feel like this would be a really cool thing to bring with you to just like hold accessories. Although I, I would probably recommend taking your skull to my locker. But another cool thing is that on the back of the box, there's like a, not on the back of the box, the back of the bag, there's like a charging port for the phone and it fits in. Like that is so cool. And it makes it so that the phone isn't going to fall out or anything. So I really appreciate that because I don't want to lose the phone. And I might actually display this next to them because I think it's really cute. But yeah, that is everything that this Frankie comes with. So um, right off the bat for $24.99. And I think for me, it was like 27 something after taxes. This doll is easily worth the money. Like the outfit is pretty pretty good quality for monster high it's very good quality um for g3 it's very good quality the outfit of design overall is really nice there's a lot of new molded pieces the shoes are really nice there's actually painted details on the shoes um the face is beautiful as always a full head of saran hair hello um and then looking down at my desk all of those accessories like this doll feels like what I would imagine like the core dolls to have been like. The core dolls come with a second, sort of not a second outfit, but like another outfit piece. So I think that's why this doll comes with more of these like accessories. And also they're just getting ready for a show. So they're only gonna need one outfit for whatever their set is. But I don't, I just think that this doll is like kind of extremely magnificent. Um, I think this is one of the best G3 dolls we've gotten in a really long time. And I say that as a G3 enjoyer to the max. I think this doll is really just superb. Um, I'm excited to see more. We've been getting a lot more like previews into the future of G3 recently, and I'm really loving the direction it's going. Um, also, I want to announce this here because I was going to do like almost an entire video about it, but I decided against it. Um, if any of you guys are looking for a Monster Ball Cleo, there is now a Saran variant. Yes, you heard that right. They originally had that doll rolling out with a full head of poly hair. It was straight poly, but it was still poly, so it didn't feel the best. Um, and now there's a full head of Saran variant. I know a few friends that have gotten it. I have yet to find it in person because I don't want to risk it by ordering it out of Amazon, but if you want to risk it, it seems like all the new batches from Amazon are getting that variant or that batch. Um, and I will show you guys and read you guys the batch code for that one so on the back of the box right under like cleo's feet there's gonna be a is a seven digit code and you it's gonna be different for pretty much everybody but you're gonna want it to start with a one because that seems like it's the newest batch of dolls and every other doll that has poly for monster ball cleo either starts with like i feel i've seen only 04 and 07 so the one that my friend got is 1473hf2 so if you have a variation of this type of batch code, um, I would definitely pick them up. You can also tell it's the Saran variant because if you guys have 
the Skultimate Secrets uh, Wave 1 Cleo or the Ghoul Spirit um, Cleo or the uh, Jeweled Case one, the Playset one. Those all have like this really bright kind of royal blue hair and they all use Saran. The hair is going to look more like that because something that people were able to um, deduct from the different hair types or the different hair types and the different colors that they use on Cleo, the ones with like the duller hair are the poly ones and the ones with the more vibrant hair are the um, Saran ones. So yeah, and also feel free to ask me or really ask anybody on socials. Uh, you can DM me Sweet is also literally anywhere if you need help identifying it. I don't have one in my hands, but if you guys just like want confirmation, I can try to help. Although I will say, <laughs> since I haven't found one yet, I haven't like 100% confirmed it, but it does seem like everybody with like a variation of that code that I showed you guys has them. So yeah, that was a really long tangent, but I do want, I did want to announce that because I think that is something like really huge that Monster High is doing, that the fact that they're pushing out new dolls for a line that's been out for quite a few months and they're changing the hair to Saran is very random, but it's a very good sign for the future, I think, because the faces are still really high quality. They didn't change anything about the outfit or the accessories or anything, and it's they were just changing the hair to be a better hair type. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. Thank you guys for all the love recently, too. My channel just got monetized recently, which is insane. I didn't even think that was ever going to happen, so thank you. Um, I'm excited to see what else Monster Eye comes out with before this year ends, and I will be reviewing it for you guys. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.